Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and a user asked me about how to create labels for cables. Friends, I put some effort into it. As you can see, this was about eight days of trial and error. I've got a way I'm willing to share, so let's get cracking. Of course, the first thing is to get into Tinkercad and create a new design. We're going to begin by naming it Cable Label. Friends, the next step is to go down and find all shapes. When you hit all shapes, we need to scroll all the way across to page 10. Notice if I skip, it is a little bit quicker. And when we get to page 10, we can bring out the trapezoid. We need two of these, so I'm going to hit duplicate, and I'm going to bring the second one over here. To keep us organized, I'm going to make this dude blue for a moment, and we are going to change its measurements. I need you to write an 8 in the first spot and press enter. I need you to put a 12 up top and press enter. I need you to change the height to 5 and press enter. And I want the thickness to stay 30, so we can just press enter and just move that to this side. 8, 12, 5, and 30. Bring the green one over so it's easier to see. And I want this one to be 9, 13, once again 5, and then also 30. After a second, it'll settle down, and we've now got our two shapes, the same measurement, and you can see how one is going to slide into the other later. Let's move back to the basic shapes. Let's put the work plane on the end of one of these and bring out a cylinder. Hold down shift, shrink or grow, and then type the number six for the size of that cylinder. We want to make this side 64 and we want to make it a hole. I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground and I want you to stretch this with the black handle more than the 30 we had for the green shape. It's much easier to see when we move them closer together and you can see that it hangs off both ends of the green part. Select the two shapes and do a line and we're going to align them in the middle and we'll also drop it to the bottom. We need to raise that up so we're going to click on it and do control up arrow to raise it up one millimeter we need to make that green one a hole as well. And then when we group those, we will have one cool hole that we can cut out of our letters. Let's move that to the other side and let's build our other part. Once again, we're gonna put the work plane on the end of it and we're gonna bring out our cylinder. We're gonna make it 64 sides as well. Hold down shift type the number six so it snaps to a size six shape. Now this one we're going to make the exact size so we can type 30 and press enter. And then I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground, grab those two pieces, click a line. I'm going to make the blue one the master and tell it middle middle. And then choose the middle option on this end. Let's click on that orange part and do control up two times so that we raise it high enough that when we make it a hole, we will have that channel that can be cut out of that part that slides together. All right, friends, so now that we've got our cutout shapes, let's actually add the words. Real quickly, I tried to do the words as separate pieces, and they were just a little bit too brittle, so I came up with a faster way. Watch this. Bring out a cube, and I'm going to tell you to keep it at size 20, but I'm gonna tell you to make yours 70 or 65, something like that. That's the size I like. And I'm gonna to choose to make it eight millimeters thick. I'm then gonna take this part and I'm gonna stretch it so that it cuts all the way through. So it has to go past and it has to go past. Then let's take those two pieces and align them. I'm gonna click the red piece and say right here and then I'm gonna double check to make sure that that end pokes out. When I stretch these, I always use the black handle so that way it only changes one measurement. Now we're gonna use this same piece back here but make it thinner, hit duplicate, drag it back, change it to just two millimeters thick and press enter. I'm gonna grab the two pieces I just made up here and I'm going to group them so that part is now complete. And then I'm gonna stretch this so that it fits all the way across. If you want to indent it one chunk, you can, it does not matter. I'm gonna do that same align, 
make sure that they're middle. I am going to type 65 so that matches exactly. And then I'm going to make sure it is on top. Notice I'm going to hit the work plane. I'm going to hit D to drop. And then I'm going to grab those two pieces and group them. So when we print this, this is going to slide right in here. Now we just need to add our words. I'm going to do that by hitting the work plane, setting it on top, bringing out the text that I want to add. I'm going to type the words. My name that I'm going to put is Mike. And then I am going to make it stand up two millimeters thick. You could also cut them in if you made that a little bit taller. And then I'm going to use the black handles to shrink it so it lines up just the way I want. And then I'm going to take those two and align them. Bing. And group. Work plane back down to the ground. And my friends, just like that, you've got a slide together cable label. So friends, when you're playing with this, make sure you explore the different fonts. And also don't forget that under all shapes on page two, there is one with script text that you can play with as well. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.